Good morning, good afternoon, great moment. My name is Kate Crouchy, and I'm here to guide you through some chair yoga today. I am a certified 200 hour registered yoga teacher. I am also a certified Kikuki instructor. I have been working into the modality of using the chair as a tool through um, yoga. And so today, just sharing a basic practice that you can use uh, to stretch, breathe, be present in the moment. So grab a chair, you won't need a mat. Gonna do oh yeah start a little music too if at any point you feel a sense of danger or discomfort in the practice make sure that you adjust Beautiful. We're working with the music of Momentology today, royalty free music that we can enjoy here and I can post to YouTube. It's all good. So, to start out your chair yoga practice. Start by sitting on the edge of your seat. You notice I'll turn sideways, I'm not sitting back like this. I'm actually bringing my bum to the edge of the seat, so just my bum is seated. And then bringing the feet so that the ankles are underneath. Feet are flat on the floor. Rock side to side, just a little bit. Pad your feet into the floor so you can really find that spot that feels good to become present in your body. Rest your hands on the tops of your legs. Notice if you're leaning forward or leaning backward. See if you can align the heart over the hips. Relax the shoulders down. Chin parallel to the earth. Inhale and exhale. If it feels safe and comfortable to close your eyes, do so. As you inhale and exhale, imagine drawing the breath up from the feet, up from the earth, all the way to the top of the head, and then back down and out. As you breathe, see if you can expand the whole torso. Roll the shoulders up and back. Let the hands drag on the thighs. And as you do that, I'm just gonna adjust some tack. Take the shoulder rolls in the other direction now, just allowing that release, being rooted in the lower half of the body, spine is aligned, and then bring yourself in to neutral seated again. Open up the arms, nice and wide. Notice if your arms went up like that, see if you can relax the shoulders down, and then kind of plug in those shoulders so that you activate those arm muscles. Reach open a little bit more, look up, let the back arch slightly, and then hug. Wrap your arms around you, one arm over the top. Tuck the navel towards the spine and the chin towards the chest. Open up again, nice and big, open, wide, receiving, and then take the opposite arm over 
and around to give yourself a hug. Chin to chest, navel to spine. We'll do this several more times. Drop into your own breath. Inhale, open, exhale, hug. Inhale, open, exhale, hug. Keep going. Noticing how this can open and then release through that back body. Keeping the feet rooted in the earth. Open, close one more time on each side. Open, and then bring your arms in front of you for eagle arms. Make sure you're still rooted nicely in your seat and your foundation. And with the arms out in front of you, palms facing up, the right elbow drops into the left elbow. Elbows bend as the palms face out. Take that right hand and wrap it around the front to meet the palm or the fingertip or wherever it falls. Take that top thumb to the third eye. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows into the chest. Keep the chin parallel with the earth and breathe. Three big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Beautiful. Go ahead and open up the arms. Bring the arms back to center. Right elbow drop, I'm sorry, left elbow drops into the right elbow. Bend the elbows. Left hand wraps around the front this time. Three inhales through the nose and out the mouth. Chin parallel to the earth, spine aligned. Open the arms back up. Bring your arms down to your side. Side leaning stretch. Keep your core engaged. Breathe in. And when you exhale, reach to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, reach to the left. Inhale. Exhale, keep the core engaged, the spine straight. Let the arm float up. Let this create gentle activation in the upper body. Let it open up the side body to support respiration. Keeping the core engaged, the spine straight. I noticed I was leaning over a little bit. Leaning up, leaning side open. Keep going a couple more times, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, bringing the arm up. Push down through the feet to lift the arm up. Push down through the feet to arch over, push down through the seat. Keep going, just a few more. And coming back to center, roll the shoulders up and back. Bring the right leg up to figure four and rest on the thigh. Seated pigeon. You might have noticed that the, the tailbone kind of sunk backwards. See if you can lean back forward and you'll notice that stretch in the hip, opening up that right knee. this top knee in line with that ankle as much as possible. 
sit tall. Feel the stretch that you may be feeling already. And then if you can fold over, go ahead and do so. I'm noticing right away that I'm very tight. So just taking a little bit of a fold first. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm seeing maybe if my body will let me fold a little bit more. Walking yourself back up to center, bringing the right foot down and then bringing the left leg up so that you can do the same thing. Again, trying to keep that left knee in line with the ankle, just from the bottom here too. Sitting up nice and straight so you can feel that stretch already happening. Inhale and exhale. You can even gently flex the foot if you'd like to. And then if you'd like to fold over, you can go ahead and find that fold. Three big breaths. Using your hands to gently walk yourself back up to center, go ahead and take that left foot back down. Switching sides back to the other side. So now we'll do a twisted pigeon. Right ankle comes back to the left knee and twist to the left and bring your left, bring your forearm to the sole of your foot or even there. Chair with the left hand for support and then twisting sideways. Notice how this leg wants to try and hold tension. See if you can release and relax. Holding on to the seat of the chair seems to work better to keep the spine gently aligned, not leaning forward so much. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Come back to center, bring the right foot down, bring the left foot back up, twist on the other side. And check in with that knee and that bottom foot that's on the floor, make sure it's in alignment. Again, align the knee and the ankle on this side as well. And then turning to the right this time, of course, bringing the forearm or the hand to that foot and then twisting sideways. Relax through the legs. The legs will want to hold a lot of tension here. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep breathing. And then inhale back to center. Bring your both feet down. Extended leg stretch. So sit tall and lean back. Hug your right knee into your chest. With your foot flexed, extend your right leg. Hold your right hamstring, calf, or the sides of your foot. 30 seconds, breathing. One more breath. And then lower that leg down. Again, sit tall, lean back, hug the left knee into the chest, foot flexed, extend the right leg. So I clearly can't reach. I'm gonna go under here, leaning back gently, extending the leg long, foot flex. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good 
Go ahead and bring that foot down to the earth. Hmm. Go ahead and sit tall. Make sure you're sitting on the edge of the chair. The knees are aligned over the ankles. Knee taps. Sit tall, lift your right knee, rotate your torso and bring your left elbow towards the knee. You don't have to touch, you can just rotate it. Bringing it back, switch sides. So you can also just take cactus arms if you'd like a little bit more. Squeezing, rooting into the seat, staying tall through the spine. Noticing that I inhale to center, exhale to twist. And if you're only coming up this far, that's okay too. Honor where you're at in your practice today. This is where I am and it's perfect. Use that core engagement to help build some heat as you twist the torso side to side. Take whatever pace you'd like. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. And bring the arms down to the sides. Roll the shoulders up and back. Now, I'm going to invite you to stand up and we're going to use our chair to move through some warrior sequence. If Standing up and doing this is a little bit much for you. You can always modify with the chair. So for instance, with a warrior one, that back foot is turned 45 degree angle and that front knee is bent. So you can stay fully seated or you can stand up. I think standing up is good and you have your chair for support. So let's start with the left foot. So if you're standing, take your chair, push it a little bit further in front of you so you can hold on to the back of it. And it's very important when you're using the chair that you're pushing down into the chair and not pushing this way just to avoid injury. Okay, warrior sequence. That left foot is going to be facing the chair, kind of in line with that front hand. And then you can step the right foot back to the degree of comfort so that a bend comes into the knee. You might have to heel toe a little bit closer to the chair, opening up into a lunge where the knee is bent, that back toe is out 45 degrees. And then you can open up the arm and look forward and there's your warrior two. If it feels safe and comfortable, you can always bring up that other arm. Relax the shoulders, that's your warrior two. Rotating the torso to warrior one. So your legs are gonna stay the same, but you can rotate the torso and you can grab the chair. Or, you can reach up and there's warrior one as well. And you have the chair there to help give you a little bit of guidance and support. Straighten the front left leg. Bring your left hand down to the chair. Rotate that right hip open and rotate the right shoulder open to reach up. This is a modified triangle. Now, I'm noticing that I'm a little bit too far down, so I'm gonna reach my hand a little bit further in or pull the chair out a little bit. Or, if it feels safe and comfortable, you can take that left hand down all the way to the floor to the inside of your foot. But whatever feels safe and comfortable. From here, take your right hand, inhale. As you exhale, turn the torso so towards the floor and bring the right hand down, rest 
on the chair, pull the chair back a little bit, turn those back toes in, you're gonna hunt for pyramid. So you're just gonna step your right foot forward slightly so that you're still at an angle. You have your hands rested on the chair. You might need to slide the chair a little bit forward and start to fold at the waist to your degree of comfort. If you feel any type of danger or stretching, pulling in the back of the knees, bring a gentle bend into the back of the knees. Fold over to your degree of comfort. Maybe bringing the hands down to the floor is appropriate for you. Maybe you want to do more a flat back. From here, grab the back of the chair, step the right foot forward. Staying rooted in the left foot, lifting up the right foot, send the right foot back for a warrior three. You can bring your hands down to the chair to help support you. Push that right toe out, back is straight, foot is rooted. Notice how it's leaning really far forward. Want to really lean into that left foot and not forward into the chair. Inhale, exhale. And then bring your right foot down to the earth. Walk your hands back up to the chair and we're going to switch sides. I'm going to check a tech thing. need to switch sides with your chair, but I did so you can see what I'm doing. So, step that right foot up, left foot steps back and open. So you're setting up, I'm gonna turn right here so this camera can catch the right angle, okay. So you're setting up for your warrior foundation. So you're taking that left foot out now with a 45 degree angle, a bend in the front, right knee, holding onto the chair, turning the torso open so that you can take that warrior two. Thinking down into your lunge and you can always open up and bring that hand up or you could be totally seated on the chair doing this as well. Having the chair support this part of the right thigh. Breathe in and breathe out. And then rotate that torso to your warrior one. Turning the torso, keeping the legs. You can always inhale the arms up overhead or maybe just one if that feels good. Breathe in and breathe out. And then straighten that front right leg. Bring the hand down to the inside of the chair. Open up that right hip and turn I'm sorry, the left hip and turn the left shoulder open. You really want to have a hinge at the waist, looking upwards. And again, if you wanna bring that right hand down to the inside of the right foot, you can. Or of course, rest it on the chair. Not really leaning into that though, like really using that core strength, pushing down through the feet, just using the chair as a little extra support, a tool for refinement. Inhale, as you exhale, turn the torso towards the earth, bring the left hand to the chair, turn the back toes in and step forward for that pyramid. Feet are staggered, legs are straight. Start to fold, find where the degree of comfort is. So maybe it's, maybe it's the flat back. Maybe it's down further. Maybe your fingertips are all the way to the earth. Wherever you are, breathe in and breathe out.
remembering to bring a gentle bend into the knees if you feel any kind of discomfort. And as you root to rise, rise up. to standing so we can do the warrior on this side. Root down into that right foot still. Wait, that left foot still? No, it's the right foot. Sorry, sorry. Root down into your right foot, lift the left foot up. Straighten the back so that you can send that leg out long and slide the chair forward to wherever you feel Feels good. The hips are square with the earth. The spine is aligned. The toe is pointed, rooting down into the right foot. Just using the chair for a little extra balance support, but really still engaging the muscles. And then bring your left foot back down. Walk your hands back up and you can come back to seated. We'll continue our little warrior journey here with a peaceful warrior and then extended side angle. So take your left leg out and bent, scooch to the side to have that supported and then send that right leg out and long. So here you are again, kind of in this warrior one foundation pose. And then inhale the arms up. And then as you exhale, exhale the right hand down and extend the left hand backwards. Deep stretch here, push the weight into the back of that right foot. And then as you exhale, bring that left hand down to rest on the thigh. And inhale that right up overhead, extended side angle. Breathe. Inhale, back to center, and then switch sides. Turn to the right, get the right leg supported, open up into your warrior. It takes a little bit of finagling. Tight hips today, I'm feeling. My hips are like, no, we don't wanna go that way. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, peaceful warrior. And then moving that right arm to the right thigh, extended side angle, open up. Yeah. Inhale, the arm up overhead. Bring it down to the side, bring yourself back into center. Inhale the arms up and exhale. Just take a little forward fold to release any lower back tension. And then as you come back up to seated, double check to make sure that you have your seat seated, rooted in a nice, Easy seated foundation pose here in your chair. So again, the edge of the booty is on the edge of the chair. Enough so, so that you can really root those seat bones down in. The feet are rested on the earth. The heels are in line with the knees. Inhale the shoulders up and back. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, bring the arms down to the sides and turn to the right. Use those arms to take a gentle twist. 
Inhale, the arms up to center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, bring the arms down to the side. We need that side leaning arch. Inhale, the arms up, arm up, and reach over on the exhale. Inhale, up. or just breathing fully as you move through. Beautiful, keep going. Beautiful, inhale the arms up. <sighs> Exhale, let them fall. Roll the shoulders up and back. Both ways. Rooting into the chair. Finding a little slice of stillness here. As you find this stillness, I will share a reading with you. This is the moment in the practice where you allow yourself to just be still and rooted in the center of this now moment. Allowing the movement and the breath that you just practiced to infuse and integrate into the body. A moment for you to breathe, feel the breath breathing you, feel all that feels good in the body. The feet are rooted, ankles in line with the knees. Legs are relaxed. Seat is rooted into the chair and that aligns the spine, heart over the hips. Chin parallel with the earth, crown open and receiving. Three inhales and exhales. This is from the Radiance Sutras. I'll read two of them to you today. Stay here in your breath. Keep the eyes closed. Allow yourself to be present to these readings and to your breath. Forget all of your ideas about the body. It's this way or it's that way. Just be with any area of it. This present body as permeated with limitless space, drenched in freedom. This body is made of earth and gold, skies and stars, rivers and oceans, masquerading as muscle and bone. Every substance is here, diamonds and silver, magical elixirs, ambrosia that gives visions, herbs that nourish and heal, the foundation of the planet immortal magnetic iron circulating in the blood. Every element in you loves the others. Earth loves rain, sky loves sun. Sun loves the space it shines through. Space loves everyone equally. In meditation, luxuriate in knowing this deep and simple truth. Every cell is an organ of sense infused with majesty. Take a few inhales and exhales here.
inhale the arms up overhead, palms meet, draw down into heart center. Again, inhale the palms up. This time, when your palms meet, stop as you draw them down to the third eye as a reminder for kind and loving thoughts towards yourself and others. As you draw your prayer down, pause at the lips as a reminder for kind and loving words towards yourself and others. And then pausing at the heart space, finally resting as a reminder for kind and loving actions towards yourself and others. One last time, inhaling the arms up overhead, palms meet, draw down into heart center. May you be safe and protected. May you be healthy and nourished. May you love and be loved and may you truly be happy. May your practice bring you peace and may you share this peace with the world. Namaste. Hmm. Wonderful. Well, there you go. Nice little cherry over practice for you. Um, I hope that you are able to find some release and some really amazing breath work and keep showing up for yourself. Keep showing up for practices. It works if you work it. Have a beautiful day. Erase the box. Embrace the flow, germinate beautiful experiences, mind, body, and soul.